How you guys doing? Chris Ignata here. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Now, I want you to check out this amazingly vibrant two-line salamander I found a couple years ago. This thing is beautiful. So, check it out. Now this is actually northern two-line salamander to be more precise and they are part of the Plethodon family. I often find them around a lot of water, you know, flowing streams, under rocks, sometimes near ponds and stuff, but generally near flowing water. I think they like the high oxygen content. Just like most salamanders, they'll feed on soft-bodied insects and sometimes even smaller salamanders, at least I saw that once. Take a look at that bright yellow tail. Sometimes it's bright yellow like that. Sometimes it's just tan or beige. I've even seen brown two-line salamanders where the two lines are actually kind of hard to distinguish. They wriggle like lightning, and if you blink, they're gone by the time you open your eyes back up. Really fast species of salamander. But I have a lot of fun finding them, and they are extremely common. In fact, they're almost as common as redback salamanders, in my opinion, and in some areas where there's a lot of streams and brooks, they're more common than the red-backed salamander. Really pretty species. And trying to get one to stay put long enough to film it is really difficult. Just like most salamanders, they'll feed on soft-bodied insects and sometimes even smaller salamanders. At least I saw that once. Here, let me show you a still photo I shot of it just so you can have a closer look. Really cool, aren't they? Really pretty. These are related to the long-tailed salamanders, in fact. Now unfortunately there isn't a whole lot of footage of this particular salamander, but I do have other footage of northern two-line salamanders. Now you can clearly see here that there is quite a variety in their appearance. This one here isn't nearly as vibrant as the other one, is it? These ones have a lot less vibrance and uh, even contrast. A lot more muted and drab looking, but they're still northern two-line salamanders. Usually the stones I find them under are stones that are half submerged in the water. Uh, in fact, I'll even find their dents and burrows underneath the water itself, in little holes and under leaves and stuff like that. So what do you think? Isn't that a really pretty salamander? Northern two lines do vary a lot in color and vibrance, but this particular one was really bright and just beautiful. I'll film some more of them in the future, showing their habitats and stuff like that, but I just had to show you this one. So, once again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Hey, guys. Now, really quick, if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button, but don't forget to click that little bell icon or else YouTube will never inform you that I have a new video out. It's a YouTube thing. And trust me, I need all the help I can get, so please click that bell icon for future notifications. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.